So I've been reading a lot, a lot of uh, Facebook groups for the escapes and everything, and a lot of people really like having the debate between generations of escapes. So let's let's say um, the first generation of escape is from I want to say 2001 to 2007. So this is this is the last year of my generation. Or, well, this this escape is the last year of its generation of the first gens. Um, and then you have a second gen. Oh, there's a second gen right in front of me too. All right, cool. So there's a second gen which is 08 to 012. Or 012. What the heck am I saying? Cut that out. 08 to 12. And then there's the third gen which is 13 to modern day ish. Some people argue that the brand new ones are a different generation, but personally, I don't think so. Um, oh, Granville Police, they love me. <clears throat> so, that being said, um, the first and second generation escapes were more SUV-like. Um, the third generation has now turned into more of like a, a, a fuel-efficient, eco-beast, whatever you want to call it. It's more aimed towards the... Um, middle on income consumer trying to save money on gas and it's, it's a compact SUV which all of them are but this one it's it's taken the, away from the uh, kind of the SUV look it's now more of just an enlarged Ford Focus so um, a lot of people have issues with the third gen because it's so different than the other two um, and I, in Colorado over the summer I got to drive a third gen for a good while I think it was for a straight week where I got to drive the uh, third gen, and I think it was a naturally aspirated uh, four-cylinder, so it, it was dead slow, like slower than the, this right now, and it, I think this has like 200 horsepower on it um, at the crank, so maybe one 170 wheel-ish, um, probably less. But the new ones, in my opinion, are just slow. If you get the naturally aspirated ones, they don't offer the V6 anymore, which I find really ridiculous. Yeah, they don't offer the V6 anymore because they're trying to be fuel efficient. Um, I find it very annoying, in my opinion. All this fuel efficient crap. I, I mean, like, it's a bigger vehicle, and I'm pretty sure it's heavier than these. Um, so putting a four-cylinder doesn't really make sense, in my opinion. You're going to be using more gas in order to make the car go faster or even get up and go my police or not police ambulance um so that being said that that's one flaw i see with the newer ones and also the space on the interior is very very small uh, i understand escapes are very small cars or suvs or whatever the heck you want to call them um, they are very small but the newer ones i feel like they, they got a fat bottom section and then they just kind of curve up in more of a pyramid shape so the whole area of the um, like trunk space and cargo really just shrink in my opinion um, everything just gets a lot smaller and it's harder to fit things in um, so with that they're, they're slow they're they're small their all-wheel drive system is still the all-wheel drive system. I mean, you can't lift them either anymore. The first and second generation escapes, you can lift. The third, you cannot. I think it's a whole bunch of custom work that you gotta get done. But you, you cannot lift them in a affordable manner. Um, so really, the only thing that they're good for is if you get the turbo and lower it. Um, I have seen some very clean third-gen escapes. But in total, I personally just don't really like them. A lot of the people in the forums complain that the third gens get hated on so much and, and they join the group to be inclusive and blah, 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 blah. So I had one guy even come up and say that he was making a third gen exclusive group, which, what? I mean, this this is in Ford Escape Owners, the like biggest Ford Escape group on Facebook. And some guy was like, yeah, the third gen, third gen gets ragged on so much, so I'm going to make my own group for third gens. And I'm like, okay, I, I personally don't care. But it just, it's, it seems, yeah, I don't know. The third gen, in my opinion, is, is the worst escape. Um, but that's just my opinion. I mean, don't get butt hurt over it. Uh, there's actually a second gen escape right behind me. He lives in the same 
apartment complex as me. Um, but yeah, don't get butt hurt that I don't like the third gen because it's it's not really an SUV anymore. It's more of that fuel efficient eco car. I don't know. I just don't like it, and it's just simple as that. So also the second gen, I love the second gens too. I really do. Um, the first gen is my favorite because I'm a little biased towards it because I have one. But um, the second gens are awesome because. They just have kind of a, a, a more bulky look to them than the first gens, but they are still they're still rugged, and I think they have a little bit more power on the V6 models too. Um, so there's that. I love the second gens. I love the first gens. They got the more off-roading look that you can put to them. Um, the third gens just lost it, in my opinion. They lost their their flair, I guess. So that being said, um, that's my opinion on the first, second, and third gen escapes. Um, so, oh. also, <laughs> y'all won't know this, and y'all probably can't see this, but my parking space that I have at my apartment um, is just covered in mud. That's how I know it's mine. Nobody else uses it because <laughs> it's absolutely just covered in mud. Also, I hope you guys can see that, but that's a second gen escape right next to that Jeep on the other end. Um, that's the second generation. Y'all don't know what it looks like. 